And um, apropos to your previous uh, um, comment, it's very interesting how many American Jewish historians and Jewish historians kind of generally out there, when I, they'll say, what are you working on now? And I say, I'm working on a biography of Julius Rosenwald. And they say, who? <laughs> and um, so it's really quite, uh, quite, quite remarkable. And um, I, uh, so the books are, the series is called Jewish Lives. And so I've decided to write a book about Julius Rosenwald as a Jew. And um, the, uh, now obviously they're all- Male birth. And there are all these aspects of his life that have nothing to do with it, the Museum of Science and Industry, and you know, so many and so many other things, um, and uh, clearly, and his business life, which are obviously very important, and they will be there. But there will be um, a chapter on Rosenwald and the African American experience, which he always said grew out of his uh, experience as a Jew. And notably, everybody else said the reason he's doing this is because he's a Jew. So when he gave money to the Museum of Science, to create the Museum of Science and Industry, nobody said, oh, he's doing that because he's a Jew. But every time he gave money to any African American uh, cause, it was in the press, in the mouths of rabbis, in the mouths of African American commentators, writers, it's because he was a Jew. So th those were linked. And then there is an equivalent um, uh, chapter, and uh, perhaps Aviva will be your next film. Only if you pay for it. Okay, well then I can't, and it won't, which is the tremendous impact he had on the Jewish world. And so the fact is that it was Julius Rosenwald who created the joint. Okay, so this massive institution. Generation. I'm sorry? Okay. Well, before the Agra joint, it was the joint itself, and he got up at a meeting in 1914 when um, the notables of American Jewry were saying, what are we going to do about uh, the Jews who are now trapped uh, in uh, between the various armies in Central Europe and the Jews uh, in uh, Palestine who are uh, since the Ottoman Empire? And he just gets up and says, okay, I'm going to give $10 million. Who else is going to uh, give them, who else is going to join me in this? And then by the 20s, after immigration is ended to the United States, he gives millions of dollars um, to the Soviet Union to resettle Jews uh, uh, from particularly the Ukraine to, um, into agriculture. Um, for in a much smaller project, but again, really notable in the annals of American Jewish history, it was Rosenwald who gave the money um, that uh, led to the publication of Mordechai Kaplan's book, Judaism as a Civilization. Really? Okay, so uh, he, he unified really? Eastern European Jews and so German when, Jews, at least in Chicago. In Chicago, when he gave money to the um, local Jewish uh, charity, he said only if um, uh, new immigrants and um, American Jews are equally represented on the board. So that um, it, he gave money to the Hebrew Union College, to the Jewish Theological Seminary. So he rescued, by the way, both of them from the brink of bankruptcy. Okay, so that um, his influence on the Jewish world was tremendous with you know, the joint really as the um, uh, main